Hey everyone, it's Rich. Welcome back to the Bimmerzite channel. Today I wanted to talk about the i3. Yes, that's right. I'm going to talk about something that I've considered doing for quite some time, and that is essentially selling every gas and oil consuming BMW that I own and transitioning to something like an i3 electric. Now I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding this topic, whether or not electric cars are uh, something that's good for the environment, or if in fact uh, they are still contributing to pollution of the environment due to the heavy metals and the refining and mining that is required to engineer the batteries for these cars. For example, cobalt and there's a lot of other um, precious metals that have to be mined and shipped from other countries and not only is the refining and mining process of those minerals and those rare earth metals uh, basically really bad for the environment but also once those raw materials are shipped and transported to the factories the process of transporting them on diesel ships and um, from other areas around the world to the factories like Tesla in California um, you know that process creates pollution and waste as well however despite understanding all of those facts um, it is still a compelling argument and case to switch from uh, these old beasts that we drive every day pouring gasoline in them and additives and oil all the time is just uh, you know it's pretty stupid it, it really doesn't make a lot of sense and it feels very uh, archaic for lack of a better term to be still driving these old cars another interesting consideration when buying an electric car is where are you getting your electric source from is the electric power that you're charging your car with coming from a clean energy source and most of the time the answer to that is no unless uh, your energy source is purely coming from like a nuclear or renewable source source such as uh, solar panels or something like that on your house but um, where I live in Connecticut I believe we still have gas fired plants natural gas so you're essentially uh, trading off one uh, you know carbon producing fuel for another and you know you could argue that you know that's not necessarily a sustainable choice in the long run either now of course you could always offset that by installing solar panels on your house and trying to use as much solar and green power as possible to charge your electric car and of course there's other factors involved such as how much do you actually drive for me personally I don't drive that much at all um, in fact the 335i that I purchased uh, maybe a year and a half ago I've only put 4,000 miles on that car in a year and a half so I really don't drive that much it's really just around town and to do errands and go to the store so that brings me to today's topic should I sell all of my gas powered cars to buy something electric like an i3 and this is something that I have seriously considered and you know I have sort of debated whether or not this was a good idea especially for you know one of the main factors is that I use these cars as tools to make content for this channel which earns you know part of my income and so if I get rid of all those cars which I'm always fixing and repairing what am I going to make videos on right now, I've always had an interest in electric cars and clean energy and for the longest time I've been wanting to drive an i3 or a Nissan Leaf or a Tesla for that matter and I just haven't had the opportunity to do it so if you if you live in the area New York or Connecticut um, and you want to link up and let me drive your i3 or your Tesla or your Leaf um, hit me up send me an email I'll leave my email address below and um, in the meantime yeah I've considered selling my 335i which is an amazing car a twin turbo six-cylinder engine um, it's the fastest car I've ever owned and I also have a really clean rust-free 533i it's an e28 which um, I purchased a few years ago from the West Coast and that was owned by one guy for 37 years and that car is in an amazing condition and would probably sell for ten to twelve thousand dollars on bring a trailer 
So that leads me to the question, should I sell my gas-powered cars to buy something electric? And I would probably keep one gas car just in case, uh, you know, something happens. Uh, you always need to have a, a backup car, right? Anyway, that's it for today's video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Should I buy something electric? Should I sell some of my cars or not? And um, happy Thanksgiving to you if you live in the US. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.